You ready? I guess. All right. Wolf Tick Nation. Are, We're... You, are you cutting yourself off? Are you cut off? I'm, I'm a little cut off. You need to be cut off. Damn. I can raise it up. Hang on. <laughs> trying to not look so damn short. We're in focus. Light? Are you good? Do you have your light? We're I've got my lighting. Light? I'm good. Right. Wolf Tick Nation, we're happy you guys are here for another Wolf Tick Videos episode. We're going to break into it. <laughs> Thank uh, you. On today's episode. I was ahead of you on that one. Yeah. On today's episode, we are going to do a real time review of the Sensa Sensei Sensa. <laughs> group set. Budget group set. It's just cents as far as I'm concerned. Seventy three dollars is what we paid for this and we put it on the budget boundary that and some grips, the Rock Bros grips. And uh let me tell you something. Very Let me tell interesting. you something, brother. Let me tell you something, brother. Very, very interesting group set. You yeah. guys are gonna enjoy the video going down to Cat's Meow. Uh you're you might they're, hear a little bit of chain slap. I don't know. They're going to enjoy telling you that the chain's too short. Chain's too short, chain's too long. Guys, be tensioner. I've done it all. The next thing I think we're going to do an attack is taking off the adapter on that thing. But you'll see what, 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 what yeah. And before we uh, do the real-time review, we've got a bunch of mail over there. I mean, we've got yep. some good-looking packages. Very <laughs> good-looking packages. And I'm excited. Nothing excites me more the, the than good a good-looking package. package. That's my foo foo beer. Someone didn't say this way. I drink foo foo beer. Bring it on down. Mail time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch the beer. All right. Mail time. Yeah. Let's break into this. Where's the official mail opener? We've got the official Apache Pine. Apache Pine. Brett Parker. Mail time. I think time. there's something in the front of it. Nice. Whoa. Robert, Robert Frazier. Frazier. Oh. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> he's an in and out man. Oh, man. Dude, I'm telling you, he's got our backs on all this little stuff. Hey. Oh, oh. He's getting up. Oh. Uppity. A gift Robert for you. Have you got an uppity? I will use this on my comp zerker to make the rear wheel a quick release. I did use the front on an old 29er wheel and it works great. I hope you can use these instead of buying a wheel on a project. From Roger. Robert. Dude. Dude. Check these out. Dude, I can't wait to use these. That's going to be such a good idea. Now these guys... Um, whenever you have your threaded, of course, all of our big box store budget bikes, a lot of them will have a quick release front wheel, mm -hmm. and then your rear is a damn heck or a. Most of the time, they're the damn bolt on the back, and it's like it's a bummer. It's a bummer. It's so, a bummer, man. Uh, old Robert Fraser sent us some quick release axles for both the front and rear. Robert Fraser. Very good thinking on your part because who the hell wants to buy an $80 rear wheel just to be able to have a quick release, you know? There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Robert Frazier, thank you so much, man. Um, Always got our backs, dude. Fiber grip. <laughs> All right. Next piece of mail. Let's do this. Uh, I hope there's a note inside. I love whenever people put the gift notes in there. Yeah, I know. I noticed. Oh, there's, there's a note. This one is for the wolf. Hey. The random movie trivia is such a good time from Paul in Las Vegas. Oh, Paul, Paul in Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. All right. Well, Mr. Wolf, that's all you. Okay. What is it? Dude. One of his favorite movies. Oh, it's one of my favorite movies. Is it one of his favorite movies? That's what he said. Bam. Oh, my God. The Adventures of Ford Fairlane. Yeah. Dude. Zuzu Pedals. <laughs> Remember, I was talking about Zuzu uh -huh. Pedals, and no one Didn't really... Didn't we have that, like, recorded on the DVR it's, a long it's like, time yeah, ago? something like that, but now we got the DVD. It's even better. Something about, like, a disc jockey or something like that, right? Oh! <laughs> Dude, that was Andrew Dice Clay at his best right there. Ford Adventures of Ford Fairlane. We're going to have to sit down and watch Man. that. Yeah, hell yeah, we're going to have to sit down and watch this. Oh! It's, yeah, it's... You guys see this knife? Oh, Brett Parker? Man just went on vacation to Destin. Said he was watching our Destin, videos. Florida? Yeah. Said he was watching our videos on the beach. D I was like, damn! That's awesome. Wanna uh, reach in there and grab one? I, I don't you pick your I? poison, I'm gonna grab one as well. Mm. Are we gonna compare? Uh oh. You don't wanna compare uh -oh. with me. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Show me! Uh, Apache Pine. Oh wow. I'm getting the collection going. Dude, that's a beautiful knife. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, this is going to be my personal knife when I go out on the town. Look at this knife. I'm going to see if you don't. Dude, that's what going to be your personal knife when you go out on the town. Look at this. You don't thing. carry a knife. The wolf man carries a knife. I bet you might struggle with this a little. I'm going to go with it is a bolo tie. 
What is this? I know what it is. He knows what it is. What is this, guys? That is a wallet. You sure? Yes, it's a wallet. You put your cards and stuff in there. That's your, what your you license, need, man. Your cards, and then it's a money clip. Oh, that is sweet. Look at this. So we got the Apache Pine. Oh, we'll go over here with it. How about that? We got the Apache Pine decal. It opens. It's nice and tight. Man, thank you so much, Brett Parker. Yeah, this that's... right here, I'm claiming Pudo on it. You can, don't claim mm. a Pudo on nothing. Dude, look at that blade right there. Shooby bikes. Shooby dooby doo doo. <laughs> uh, they were on doo -doo. Shooby. Yeah. I think he said he got his stickers in the mail. We're going to try out the new knife here, the Brett Parker knife. Oh, it's sharp. Yes. Yeah, the nation is on point. Wolf right Tick now. Nation. Wolf I love the nation. letters. Hey, Wolf Tick. Thought you might like these awesome grips from PNW. The orange uh. would look great on the new Ascension. I have tried many types of grips, and these are my favorite. They're also on the thin side, which I know you like. I'm a thin grip man. I'm a thin grip man. You want that to be a shirt. The grips are $19 from the PNW site or $26 on Amazon. I've been using these on all of my bike projects lately and love them. Hope you all like them. A shooby dooby doo doo bikes. Oh, oh. This is the first to How see. How do those look? Do yeah. Refocus. Man, oh, this is going to look freaking sweet on the Ascension. Pull that out. Let me pull it out. Feel how sticky it is. Dude. Dude. Oh, you. Oh, wow. That's oh sticky. Oh, my gosh. Dude, it feels like I could just like throw it and stick uh -huh. to my hand. I was about to throw it. I wanted to pick up dirt, though. No, Look no. at this thing. That Damn. right there is sweet, Shuby Dude. Bikes. So freaking nice. You just send some grips, man. People have been telling us about these for a while. We've never tried them. Oh, you're rowing. Oh. <laughs> We've already got a first upgrade, official upgrade on the Ascension. Dayford. Dayford. Dude, yeah. this subscriber Wolf Tick Nation mail, thank the Wolf Tick Nation out there for, man, keeping us in business. Well, I mean, we're getting a whole segment out of nothing but subscribers. It's freaking stuff. awesome. Dayford, right. Ascension Man, just got the grips for our Ascension. Yeah, how, what a Not yours, Dayford. You're beating us. <laughs> He's also got a sweet GT. You're almost salty about it, it seems like. I know. We're supposed to upgrade together, Dayford. <laughs> Dayford said, I ain't waiting on y'all. You're too slow. Yeah, he started sending me pictures and I started getting jealous. And it, this is simple and to the point. Okay. Hope you like it. Hope they fit. You guys rock. Dayford. I hope, hope. I mean, Could he, it be any? He doesn't, he's a man of little words. Yeah, he gets right to the damn point. He does. Hope they fit. He's a no-nonsense kind of guy. Speedos? Some gloves. Oh, there you go. Oh my gosh. Well, I've been needing some gloves. I've got like... I've got like four pairs of gloves. They're all starting to get holes in because I crash a lot. And I was just looking yeah, at, at some gloves. At least we show our crashes. Dayford. In bike gloves. Look at these things. Oh man, wait till you guys see the palms on them. You ready to see the palms? Palmer. Look at all that. Now Dayford, I don't know how you knew it. But I want to tell you something, dude. Um, not only did I need some gloves, but I'm a thin grip rider. Right? I think that's uh, been established. I think it's been established. Now, one thing that I do not like when it comes to gloves, one thing I don't like when it comes to gloves is when they have that big old gel on the palm. Uh -huh. Remember, I ordered some and I gave them to one of uh, one of the kid that I was out riding with one day. Um, I can't do the big... Was that where they went? Ugh, fits like a glove. Damn. Did you say that? <laughs> oh, that fits great. Look at that. It's official. Oh, man, that's going to be a good mixture right there on the Ascension. Anyway, um... It looks like Halloween with the black and orange. Golly, look at that. And we've even got a little touch finger there whenever I'm messing with the GoPros. Touch finger? A touch finger. Dude, Dayford, thank you so much, Dayford. man. I, I, I don't no. think that would happen. <laughs> Dayford, it ain't going to fit him. This one here mm -hmm. is from Jack and Dan from Ooh, our, the Jack and buddies, Dan channel. Our, yeah, our buddies Jack and Dan, and they got their channel. Their channel, they do all kinds of stuff. The father and son team from uh, Ohio. From Ohio. And they, uh, and man, we've been watching them for, but it's been probably about a year now at least. Whole bunch of fish videos, um, fish eating videos, out, yeah, working eating, out videos, based healthy stuff. alternatives. Check it out, Jack and Dan. Let's see what you got us. Oh, no way. Dude. Dude, that's Oh, that awesome. is freaking awesome. 
Oh man, that's great. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be rocking this every it, once in a while. Yeah, I got to dude. on the GT. It's got a little inside pocket and it's got this big old pocket here. Got a little inside pocket there? Yeah, and a big old pocket. And it's padded. Dude, this is sick, dude. It's got, look at that, spots for credit cards. Damn 80s It's style. got spot. look at that, it's got a change pouch. You yeah, guys uh, see me ride the Jack GT Man. or the Ozone 500? We've got those stickers on, and we got a sticker up yeah. there. Old Jack, old Jack and, Dan. and Dan. Check out their channel, Jack and Dan. We'll, we'll put something there. We'll yeah. put a link. We'll put a link to your guys' channel in the description. Guys, check them out. Jack and Dan, again, man, thank you so much for the fanny packs. I'm going to be rocking. That's going to go in my mountain biking riding case. I have a Good. little tote. This is from More Beans. Mr. Taggart? Mr. Taggart. More Beans, Mr. Taggart. Let's see what you got us, dude. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? That's a heavy box. More beans, Mr. Taggart. I don't know what this is, but I do want to say I appreciate you sending whatever it is to us. The man paid $21.90 oh, to send I feel something guilty. to us. Thank you. Two, three. Oh, oh no way. Man. Oh, no way. Well, let's see what we got. Repair Pittsburgh Bicycle Collective. Volunteer, recycle, free ride. Dude, that is very cool. Now, Morbin's Mr. Tagger asked us if we had a bike co-op. Oh, that's right. And that's what this is. He asked if we had a bike co-op. Now, um, one thing that's really cool, I guess, in different communities and stuff, you can actually get together with other mountain bike riders. And if you maybe if you want something for real cheap or you want to donate something, anything I guess to do with mountain bike riding, you can. And he asked if we had one. I said, no, man, we don't. We don't have one of those. And he says, well, I might just send you some stuff from them. But uh, well, and who is it again? Tell okay, this is the um, free what? ride. Uh, Pittsburgh Bicycle Collective. You guys go check it out. FreeRideEPGH.org. Um, inclusive, man. Uh, Morbid's Mr. Taggart, thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so we got some Ken the Nevegal. Nevegal. Nevegal? Nevegal. 29 by 2.2 mm. tires. They feel like they're tubeless ready. And uh, that's a lot of damn You're life assuming. left on them. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. We uh, definitely have some 29er builds. Morbid's Mr. Taggart. Yes. So uh, yeah. it will get used. Ooh, 29 by 2.6. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Well, we might no, have a build for that. Uh, huh? Yeah, I think we have one called the Axum. Yeah, 29 by 2.6. Oh, hell yeah. What's going on the Axum? More beans, Mr. Taggart. You know what's up, man. Some hydraulic brakes. No way. Check these out. Avid hydraulic brakes. We've got a uh, front and a rear here. They look like they're uh, one pad Johnsons. Um, dude. That's freaking awesome. They're one pad Johnsons. One pad Johnsons. Um, we've got. What the uh, hell is that? Yeah, we've definitely got some bikes around here that uh, are going to be needing some hydraulic brakes. Uh, yes. Maybe the axle, maybe the ascension. More beans, Mr. Taggart. Thank you so much, man. That was a good. That was a good. Man, that's just. That's awesome. a damn good mail time. Yeah, mail time segment. Wolf Tick Nation. Wolf Tick uh, Nation, man. Man, I appreciate you guys so much, man. Really yeah, do. This I is just, this I is awesome. Feel so yeah. touched. Yeah. You know. I not, felt that way like, before, and I yeah. liked it. <laughs> I knew it was going um, there. As soon as I said that, I regretted it. Be on the lookout next week for a Viewer's Rides. Uh, I've already got a bunch of bikes together you're going to have to look at. Viewer's Rides, be on the lookout. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the Sensa Sensei real-time review. Yeah, Sensa. So here we go. Um, 11 to 46 cassette back there. And uh, man, after riding two 29ers... Uh, before this, with the stock uh, cassette and freewheel on there, man, uh, that having this 46 tooth is nice. Hell, I'm not even first gear yet. Wow, I was riding, just got done riding the 38 tooth. Oh yeah, man. So let's talk about the Sensei a little bit. Sensa, who said it was Sensei? Might be Sensei. I don't know. So seventy-three dollars. You get the derailleur, no clutch. Um, has a decent amount of tension on it. Um, and it feels to be decent, except for that top jockey wheel and the whole like bearings or whatever it is in there. Um, it's kind of loud, a little noisy. Right now it's pretty quiet, which I'm surprised. Um, and we'll see if we can maybe change that jockey wheel out over time if you guys remember in the install video it was really loud right now it's it's okay uh 
the chain alignment might be a big issue, but we can get that fixed whenever we um, change out the crank set on this bike, if we do on this budget boundary. But so far climbing right now, I mean, I haven't even had to hit first gear yet. I've been in third this entire time. It ain't even tripping. Let's see if we can put it in that gear. So once I go to second, the alignment starts to go out a little bit. So it gets a little crooked. And you can hear it ever so slightly. Well, let's go into first right now, see if we can hear it even more. Here's first. Quite a big spread on the uh, derailleur. And I mean, it's that derailleur's kicked out big time. Uh, you can hear that chain alignment. And I can see it, but damn, does this thing climb. And it shifts pretty good too. A little rough from first to second, but that's quite a big gap. You can see how big that cog is compared to the second gear cog. It shifts down and up pretty quick. Uh, the shifter, I love it right now because there's definitely enough clearance between my index finger right here and my thumb so I can grip the entire grip without having to kind of squeeze my finger between the brake lever and the shifter. Um, it is a little big and gawky, but it's big and gawky in the right places, you know. I mean, where it needs to be slim and trim, it feels good, big and gawky, and a little much in the areas that don't really matter. The grips, they feel good, a little bit thicker than I'd like, to, than I'd like for them to be, but I am wearing gloves, and sometimes you'll see me not wearing gloves, and that's because some grips are thicker than others. And I just, I don't like a big thick grip, you know. Steve, you know, does. I don't, I like a thin grip. Uh, but these are comfortable in the hands, man. Uh, it feels like I can squeeze them and still feel the bar down there, but there's enough padding in between to, uh, you know, kind of um, break the, uh, the, all the vibrations and everything from the trail. So it just feel good. But this group set, I mean, I don't want to mess up a good thing. I know everybody's going to keep saying that that derailleur is just extended too much and your chain's too short. With tension shifting right now, I'm in second. And this thing, I don't want to mess up a good thing and just start messing it up until it gives me a reason. I mean, that's right there in first. Yeah, the chain alignment's a little off. That jockey wheel's kind of rough. But this climbing is just effortless. Effortless? Effortless? I don't know. Damn, the RX-10. <laughs> now, Brett Parker, keep them ears open on this Cat's Meow run. We're almost there. Tell me what you think, buddy. All right, here we are. The Cat's Meow with a budget boundary. The uh, new Sensa group set. Got the Robert Fraser cable ends on here. This thing's looking good and uh, finished as far as the group set goes. Now, uh, right there is one, two, three, four, five, six gear. Um, the chain's got some tension, not crazy amount. You can see there, it does have a little bit of tension on it. We'll see how it is when I'm pedaling it going down the Cat's Meow. The RX-10 Sensa group set, Cat's Meow. Uh, the budget boundary, let's get this run out of the way. See if we can gain some speed fast. My butt's nice and padded. And uh, my hands are too. All right, we've got the HB100 X-Tech brakes on here. Zoom X-Tech, I think is their calls. Um, man, let's do this. I'm able to shift down really good. Well, up, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, start gaining some speed here. Okay, good rowing motion with this bike. The uh, chain is a little slappy back there. I mean, for the most part, I wouldn't say right now it's any louder than the Axon through the Ascensions. Okay, a little bit of slappage. Oh, we're getting a lot of chain slap now. But that chain isn't jumping. Not having any drops yet, which I thought I was gonna have for sure. Down in eighth and ninth gear, first tabletop. Oh, damn. Okay, ankle breaker. Oh my gosh. This bike is scary down there because it's so light. Okay. 
able to regain some speed not really keep the speed throughout there but it's a budget boundary now see if we get any chain jump down here we've uh, got the famous infamous spot between the trees i say those tabletops oh damn tabletops weren't as bad because i got my padded grips now and my padded butt my seat is dropped down so we take this turn the group set still holding on for dear life back there that chain is doing a good job good little turn here with a little tabletop okay not bad dude the chain slap isn't bad it's quiet i'm able to keep some speed throughout here and not have to worry about that chain jumping on me on that cassette Ooh, pretty damn loud back there i think that chain just jumped because i was saying it's not jumping i think it just jumped on me on the cat's meow either dude this group set for 73 bucks i mean damn it's not bad man i mean what do you what do you want for 73 dollars i know there's a lot of people out there that were hating on it it's a budget group set man sensa 10 speed 11 to 46 tooth comes with the shifter the cassette the derailleur an extender and it comes with a, a chain ring if you want to pay extra three bucks which you should for a chain ring but damn yeah you're gonna get some chain slap man but i mean to be able to run 11 to 46 tooth now, the climbing on this bike, and this bike's never going to be a downhill monster or anything like that. It's just going to have some budget tasteful upgrades done to it, you know, some really budget ones. Um, and hopefully we cross our fingers that they hold up. Uh, but this sense of group set, I mean, kind of killed it right now. On the way up here, I'm more impressed. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we are right in front of once again and uh just got done uh riding the sensa sensei uh rx10 group set sense is good sense is good yeah we'll call it sensa now um it did an excellent job of climbing in first gear uh there was a few people that were saying man maybe whenever you're in first and second the chain lineman issues and that's part of the main noise that we're getting from the rear end it's not terrible it works um that top uh jockey wheel maybe we have i think we have a like an aluminum jockey wheel i might try to change it out with um but i mean it's kind of hard to even say that because this thing is so budget 73 dollars i really don't want to mess up a good thing it did great climbing now the downfall of this group set uh there's no clutch of course is this bike going to be our downhill monster of a bike no it's not going to be the bike that we take out to hayes creek or on a, on a every weekend um so i'm willing to forgive the group set on the cat's meow it did pretty bad out there chain it's slap. just uh the chain slap was tremendous there was a lot of chains well, because slap. the chain's too long which is weird because the chain's, the too, chain's short. too short yeah it, it's a weird get up. Um, it's a weird setup. Uh, this is the bike that you definitely have to take a lot of time and do a lot of tuning with and playing with that group set. It's 73 bucks. I don't want to hear, oh, well, all you have to do is this or all you have to do is tighten this or tighten that. There's a lot more to it th than that. Um, and on this group set, I think it's worth $73 if you're looking at doing light trails and just having fun out there. But as soon as you are thinking about taking this thing downhill or down a trail like the Cat's Meow, you expect some chain slap and your chain stay is going to get eaten up a little bit. Uh, the Sensa Sensei RX10 group set, man, $73. Bucks. Um, check out the affiliate links below if you guys want to get your hands on something like this. If if it's something that maybe you think uh, you're going to use for light trail usage. All in all, man, uh, we appreciate you guys watching Wolf Tick videos. And uh, hopefully you guys tune in for the next. Give it a thumbs up and check out the affiliate links below but we'll see you guys on the next one budget boundary